Welcome to the Professor Slots Podcast. We help slots enthusiasts improve their slots gambling performance with next level tactics and strategies. Want to accelerate your slots journey, be more profitable, and understand casinos better to take advantage of them? You're in the right place. The Professor Slots team has over a decade of experience providing strategies for slots enthusiasts just like you. And now, to help you, here's Dr. John Friedel, Professor Slots. Hello, today's episode number 160 of the Professor Slots podcast discusses reinventing your slots play. Plus, in this episode, I'll be sharing my conversation with Gina. In case you missed it, on my last episode, I had a conversation with Peggy, a beginner slots enthusiast with a plan. I hope you enjoyed listening to my last episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. My online course for improving your slots play is 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win. With it, you'll get lifetime access, a free copy of my book, Learning to Win, and spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping for income tax preparation purposes and gameplay analysis. You also get one month free membership to my Slots Enthusiast Growth Network where you'll get community support and accountability. 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win is discounted at 50% off for $100 savings. Be sure to use that discount before it goes away. Visit professorslots.com 30 days to learn more about this well-received course, including a full description of its contents as well as testimonials. Are you tired of losing at slots? Do you take your hard-earned money to a casino and lose it all? Or not come home with enough? Or do you win big, then can't get out of the casino fast enough and, again, lose it all? If so, it's about time you reinvented your slots play to get a better return. Maybe you don't care about losing money. For you, maybe playing slots is a hobby. Lots of folks have expensive hobbies. Some people have horses, $10,000 bicycles, or a boat to cruise around their favorite lake. I've had paid consultations with slots enthusiasts where the only thing they don't like about spending big money playing slots is how unhappy losing makes them feel, despite being able to comfortably afford losing it. Spending $10,000 during one casino visit and walking away with nothing time and again can get a bit depressing. Losing reduces the fun of it. I have nothing against slots enthusiasts who spend heaps of money if they want to and can afford it, but I try to help them win rather than lose so they feel better afterwards. Yes, maybe they don't need or particularly want to win. They've made their peace with that. Instead, they ask me questions about taxes and how to handle getting 100 W-2G tax forms during every visit because each bet they make is $250 or more. Every win is a hand pay. Hey, look, I got two cherries. That's a hand pay on some high-limit machines. I've had long conversations with slots enthusiasts spending, well, millions of dollars on slots and, and not breaking even. They thank me for my winning strategies, which allows them to win nearly as much as they spent without too much effort. But now they've started to wonder if maybe they could lose a little less often, so they come out ahead. Then there's the other end of the spectrum. Maybe you're going to a casino with a couple hundred dollars and leave with nothing. Again, maybe you can afford it. At least I certainly hope so. Yet you'd rather win now that you're starting to have some success using my winning slot strategies. Most think that nobody wins at slots. It's a common belief, in part because regular slots winners keep their wins quiet, including how they're winning. But then you or they started watching those YouTube slots channels out there showing so many big jackpots, again and again and again. So you got the mistaken impression they know how to win at slots, not realizing that instead they've gotten good at creating an illusion of winning by editing out long losing streaks from their recordings. I don't mean to rip away an enjoyable illusion. If you want to live your life vicariously through their wins, please go right ahead. It's their chosen job to help you do exactly that, to entertain you. But that's not the same as you going to a casino and taking home your winnings. The illusion doesn't hold up when you do it. Why? Because it isn't holding up for them either. It it never did. They're losing at slots. They make money to pay for playing slots through advertisements, shirt sales, and brand deals. That's where they get the money to pay for their slots play, monthly bills, employees, and make a little profit too. Live and let live, I say. But don't misunderstand. They offer entertainment. And if you want to learn how to win, and if they want to know how to win, then you need to take advantage of your casino by turning back onto them their attempts to manipulate you to separate you from your bankroll. Instead, take charge of your slots play and do what it takes to change Your slots play from losing to winning, and with practice, optimize making a profit at your favorite casino. Take my five-spin strategy, for instance. One in four casinos give you a quick win to turn you into a money-spending monster. They do this to get you to spend that quick win, everything you brought with you, and any other money you can get your hands on. 
And you know what? That works great for casinos. That manipulation makes them a lot of money. But do what I suggest with my five spin strategy. Win that quick win, then leave that machine. Go to the machine right next to it, get another quick win, and move on. Machine by machine, collect those quick wins. And that's how you turn a casino's attempt to manipulate you back onto them. So you take advantage of them. If your casino doesn't have the five spin method, then use one of my other strategies that turn the tables on their attempted manipulation of you. Again, figure out how they are attempting to manipulate you, then turn it to your advantage. If you enjoy watching other slots channels create the illusion of making money, imagine how much more you will enjoy winning money at slots for yourself. Winning is easy. The hard part is getting out of the casino with your winnings. But that's a topic for another time. My online course for improving your slots play is 30 days to play slots smarter and win. With it, you'll get lifetime access, a free copy of my book, Learning to Win, and spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping for income tax preparation purposes and gameplay analysis. You also get a one month free membership to my Slots Enthusiast Growth Network, where you'll get community support and accountability. 30 days to play slots smarter and win is discounted at 50% off for a $100 savings. Be sure to use that discount before it goes away. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about this well-received course, including a full description of its contents as well as testimonials. And now here's my conversation with Gina. Enjoy. Welcome, Gina. Thank you very much for being on the show, uh, agreeing to an interview. Uh, and uh, uh, how are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing well. Um, I'm afraid I have to cough. <coughs> Um, so, uh, you know, welcome to the show and, uh, what I generally, um, start off and, and see where you want to go, uh, on the conversation is, uh, you know, you have purchased my course. Yes. I have, and I'm very thankful I did. Uh, and did very, you, very thankful. Um, thank you. Did you, uh, know me before that, uh, before that I had, uh, didn't have much of a YouTube channel, and I think I started my podcast first way back. Um, uh, when did you, about what time did you start following me? I'd say it might have been about mm, six, seven months ago. Ah. Um, I retired. I had retired, and I was looking for part-time work, actually. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I was looking for some part-time work, and I actually joined um, joined a board. We live in a patio home in New York, and I'm on the board, so I've been kind of I've been busy. Um, but I do travel to Nevada a lot. I have two of my children, adult children, and two of my grandchildren that live, reside there, that live there. So I'm there a lot. And I was when I had some free time, I wasn't babysitting my grandkids um, or helping my daughter. I would venture out me and my husband and I started to play and I was one of those people as you say you know just oh here is a slot I like I'll just play this game I had no idea what I was doing so I oh I tend to overthink right wrong or indifferent I overthink so I immediately started to research and I see a lot of people on these videos playing all sorts of slots and I'm clearly looking at this saying well they're just showing us what they win it's unlikely you see when they lose. So I said, I want to learn a little bit, try to get smarter about it. If I'm going to do it, I just don't want to toss money away. So I found you and I found you to be genuine and authentic and real. You know, just tell it like it is. So I found that valuable and I started to follow and watch your podcast as much as I can, I could and um, watch your videos, take your course to get smarter about it overall. And I think it's done me well. I'm not certainly no professional gambler, but I am in a better spot. I think twice about things when I go to a casino, any casino. Uh, so it's been extremely valuable. Uh, uh, wonderful. I like to get an idea of uh, where people are at and, and what they do. Um, some people, uh, do you have a you know, favorite the strip or downtown or North Las Vegas or some other town, maybe when you go to Nevada? Well, my, yeah, my, um, both my children are one's in Vegas, Las Vegas, and the other one's in Henderson. So I spent initially when we first started to go there, my daughter's been there for over a decade. Um, we were actually at the uh, strip quite a bit. I had no clue what I was doing, I'll be honest. But we you know we had well, my husband and I had fun. We weren't we weren't really there to make money. We were people watching and 
taking it all in, so to speak. Um, and then uh, I started a, a strip was mobbed. It was packed. It was so busy for me. It was, I was like, oh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I, I don't mind it once in a while, but to do it all the time, just not me. So we ventured out. My daughter moved to Nevada and Henderson, and then we started to go to some of the, most of the casinos off strip, um, which I found much better for me, <laughs> for uh, my lifestyle. Sure. I have been to the uh, Las Vegas strip uh, on the 4th of July weekend. Uh, I took my, uh, you know, I, it was a comp trip, airfare included for being a, a seven stars, uh, if you know what that is. Uh, and so I took my annual trip to Las Vegas and uh, what is it, three days, two nights, no, th three days, four nights, uh, I think that was. And the second time I took my sister, who had never stayed on the strip before because she'd always been off strip as cheap as she could make it. And now she had a chance to go to the spa at Caesars Palace yeah. and, and all free because <laughs> I gave her my companion yeah. card. And she's just like, this is very different from anything I've done. And I'm like, you know, uh, uh, so it was interesting <laughs> to team up with her and it was nice to go with her. I, I have been to Henderson. Um, a short story is uh, I was laid off as an aerospace engineer not quite two years ago, and I had a um, contract with a um, <laughs> one of the militaries in the United States. I shouldn't say which one. And we were meeting at our annual meeting in Henderson. And, you know, I was doing the whole thing and and we were talking about the TSA and did you have any problems getting to the to this, you know, to the meeting and stuff because people flew all in from all over the country. And uh, we we're talking about how some names are not, you know, other people have your names and there could be problems. And and then the head of the organization uh, who was sitting next to me said, you know, I somebody has your name. He does like. Professor Slots? <laughs> and, and I said, that's me. And she said, really? <laughs> and we talked about it for a minute. And it was a day and a half long meeting uh, in Henderson, like I said. And I was headed to the airport because I had, uh, you know, I knew it would end at noon. And I had a flight at 3 o'clock uh, to just to get back. I don't know why I was in such a rush. And uh, everybody just sort of milled around and wouldn't meet my eyes at the end of the meeting on noon the next day. And I'm like, what's up guys? And they were like, could you show us how to play slots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a celebrity for sure. Well, I, I was just like, I, you know, I'm to them. I'm another a different expert uh, in a technology sure. that, you know, and, and for that to sort of happen, I was like, I, I don't know why I didn't think of this. I'm not prepared. I have a flight in like, an, you know, two hours. I, I'm so sorry, guys. Next time. And then I was laid off. And they're just like, ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Henderson was very nice. Um, yeah, yeah, I love it there. I love yeah, it there. Yeah, yeah. She lives in a great area. She's really close to uh, Green Valley Ranch. Ah, okay. So I go there. I could, Yeah, it's very, it's like just a few minutes away. So I've been there. Um, I've been to the Red Rock. Yes, I've heard some good things about that. Uh, there was a note in, was it the Nevada uh, Slots Enthusiast group, uh, Facebook group. I have one for every state. You may know that, but others may not. Yeah. Uh, the podcast listener may not. It's always one listener. <laughs> <laughs> Many times, um, but, uh, um, but they may not know that I have those, and that's where I think somebody was talking about Red Rock and what, what was what's going on there. It might have been in the paid community. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, th I think they were saying, yeah, the five spin work, uh, five spin method works there, uh, mm -hmm. and um, I don't think there's any other information I can convey. But um, you can go check later if you like. <laughs> yeah, the, the Red Rock I've been to quite often. It really a nice casino um i tried the, the five spin there actually i was lucky um i would say using the five spin method in addition to location 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 i think at red rock because it's so large um which takes again i overthink right wrong or indifferent i tend to overthink and i waste a lot of time sometimes but what are you going to do that's just what i do uh, um, but it was yes. nice there the M Casino, I thought was fabulous. I like it there. I like their high, li high limit room, and I'm not, I'm just, 
entertaining that a little bit now, and I was afraid to do max, so I did I did fine. total max based on the, the dollar or five dollar machine, and I did a couple. You know, I won a couple of, a couple of hits, and I said, "All right, I'll take what I won and move on," as I'm learning. <laughs> That's um, wonderful. So I, yeah, so I've been kind of entertaining some of that. Um, but I do observe now. I walk around. I just don't sit on any game. Um, Wonderful. Well done. I'm, I'm trying to apply your strategies accordingly. I know I worked for a bank for over 40 years. And you would think my math, you would think math is like my strong suit. Unfortunately, it is not. <laughs> Program manager, project manager, customer experience manager, but not, not, uh, not that. If we, not don't, math. if we don't use it, we lose it <laughs> and um <laughs> and and you know that's what happens is like foreign languages i used to be fluent i think for like two weeks in german and then i didn't use it for 20 years and now i can hear uh flight numbers in frankfurt <laughs> you know that's about it uh and uh but you know th what happens to some people is they learn they remember the math that they use for their job Mm -hmm. and, and it may not be the math that you are using now. And so it's not, I, you know, I, I don't, I, I respect you. I, I don't think that there's, you know, you had a tough job before you retired. And, and uh, that sort of thing is you learn all kinds of, of skills, but sometimes things aren't emphasized. Yeah. Like, well, I did, I did, um, not only do I watch your podcast, not only do I watch your videos, I also um, joined your Facebook, uh, both for New York and in Nevada, and I read them thoroughly, and I clearly understand now how to figure out, um, you know, the return uh, to player percentage. So I make sure I do that. Even when I'm in Nevada, I do my homework before I go to the casino based on the slot denomination, you know, what, what's, the high, what's the best return to player percentage. Um, I'm not too savvy on understanding what the casino dollar amount is worth. But, so I've been kind of digging a little deep into the slot um, return to player percentage based on denomination, a little bit based upon like, off, um, you know, if I'm on the strip or if I'm off the strip. Um, so I do that. I've been, New York is great because it'll give me some of the commercial casinos, uh, not uh, the tribal. New York is great. I mean, you, you, you are not kidding. There's like, they have everything. Uh, tribal mm -hmm. casinos with class two machines, tribal casinos with compacts and class three machines, um, cruise ships out of the Manhattan, you know, terminal <laughs> uh, and everything, yeah. casino resorts, racetracks. It's, you know, they go, go to Canada on the other side of the Niagara Falls and be international. It's it's like, I don't, there is not a state that has more variety. Yeah. Yeah. Than New York, yeah. It's uh, so I do my homework. That's a little bit, but you know, my husband always says you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. But he, you know, I've been using him to hold me accountable, and he's not always been very good at that. But he really is a big casino. He really kind of holds me accountable, not so much himself, but me, yes, because I asked him to do so. Um, so it's not like we go all the time. We might go a couple of times a month. Sometimes we'll take a break because we know we're going to Nevada and going to be there for three or four weeks. Three weeks or four weeks, we'll we'll be careful about what we're going, where we're going, and how much we're spending. Um, I absolutely take advantage of the tools in your class as it relates to the spreadsheets and tracking my wins and losses. Because you know, well, one day I do hope to win uh, a hand pay. Um, and I've been sharing your information with my children, my oldest son and my youngest son and my daughter. And my youngest son, for some reason, he's just got a knack. Um, he just has a knack. And I, I, I posted a picture on my Facebook. He keeps just sat in a machine. He thought it was a great location. And he went five spins in and won a hand pay. Wonderful. And, you know, and I was on a row. I was in an, I was on an aisle where, um, People could come in and out, and it was busy. And I sat on an end, and I didn't max. I did the one before it, but I won almost five hundred dollars. So I've been doing well um, based on everything that I'm learning from from you. So I appreciate that. I appreciate <laughs> all you do for us. Um, it's wonderful. 
uh, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it because it's making me smarter. I'm not just wasting money. I'm thinking about it. Uh, so I so appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate that. Um, uh, I, you know, don't know you and your son well, but I think your son takes after his mother. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty, I'm telling you, I couldn't believe it. But he liked, I, I share. I'm like, look, if you're interested, this is what my professor's last says. And they've been interested, you know. They're always asking me questions now. And so I just, if nothing else on this interview, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you taking the time to do what you do for helping us learn and get smarter about spending our money and gambling it. Because you're right, you know, because slots aren't made for us to really win. So it makes good sense to, you know, understand what you can understand and use the tools before you start venturing out. I, I you know, am still shocked that there isn't more education out there. I, I, I started... Uh, what I finished writing my book in 2015 and, um, you know, started selling it on my webpage, $400 each. And then it wasn't until years later that I, I it, what, two years later, it's 2017 that I, or 18 maybe, I started selling it um, for the usual amount for a book, but on Amazon, who kindly takes 70%. So people are like, oh, you yeah, have a book, so you're rich. And I'm like, what are you even talking about? <laughs> I self-publish, so I get a lot more than I do if I had a publisher who is like 8%, uh, you know, gives me 8%, would give me 8%. Anyway, the economics are uh, different. But, but um, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be able to help. Uh, it's my motivation for doing this. Uh, I did tell people for the first, I don't know, five years or so, you know, I'm going to start charging you someday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> someday <laughs> podcasts are free and you know just because if you do change from being totally free uh to charging people get upset but i'm like i told you all along it's been like five years right. if you didn't believe me that's not my <laughs> so right. now i have the course uh which is 50 percent off so i uh, i i have um you know i wasn't into marketing when i was an aerospace engineer i wasn't into uh um, you know, some of the things that are required for an entrepreneur. And so I see, <clears throat> I see, I, I have, I have a lot to learn myself and it's kind of exciting. And I, I saw my sister, uh, when I went to a family wedding, uh, in Michigan last, last weekend, uh, a week ago. And, uh, she said, you're smiling a lot more. And I, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, she, I've never seen you smile so much. And I'm like, it's mm -hmm. fun. You know, I'm in, I'm in, yeah. I'm enjoy help, enjoying helping people. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's so appreciative. Yeah, so I certainly appreciate it. That's for sure. And I'm just getting smarter. You know, I haven't been doing it for that long, um, but I take it. You know, I take advantage of the knowledge you have, and the experience you have, and some of the other people that you've uh, interviewed. I may not make it to all the Saturday classes that you do or the sessions that you hold, but I listen to them during the week. Um, so Thank there, you. it's a very interesting to listen to other people's perspective and see how well they're doing. And, uh, that, yeah, because I don't is, think any, yeah, okay. that's, I find this, you know, just, it just supports the stuff that you take, you know, that you've shared with us. Well, one of the concepts I'm trying to get across to people is we're in it together. And it's really quite the change uh, from being self-taught for, I don't know, was it 130 years, you know, <laughs> where, where, you know, since slots, uh, slot machines were invented and uh, now we can learn together. And I find this in my paid community. I'm not trying to pitch it. I'm, I'm just saying in my paid community, they've all taken the course and they they see they know Vipole method. They know location, 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 and they're starting to to say, "Well, what about combining it?" You know, they're going to the mm -hmm. next step, which isn't really the course strategy six in the course uh, and and the free stuff that I provide is like a, a, a two best two strategies and a best practice and a tip. You know, all kind of combined together. Mm -hmm. uh, but the whole uh, you know combining things for the best advantage. Uh, 
uh, uh, that you can find at your casino. And uh, also, you know, t- all the test procedures that would uh, go with it. I'm working on mm-hmm. um, explaining some of these uh, things that uh, um, my, my group, you know, they find it, they find it important. And I'm like, oh, I was just, I mentioned it, but if you find it important, then I'll make a video on it. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I've been fascinated by the conversations. And I, I, I agree, people enjoy the conversations. The, I don't want to say interview, it's more of a conversation. Um, uh, maybe I should shut up more and it would be an interview, but... <laughs> But no. uh, but I'm, I I name myself Professor Slots um, because you know I, I lecture. <laughs> I can't turn it off. <laughs> but yeah, well, I'll get I'll get confused a bit too. Like I do, you know, I I do what you recommend, right? So I'll go buy a machine, right? If I think it's in a good location, and I will turn around and say, okay, what am I looking at? Am I looking at a wall? Or can people see me? I even do that when I walk into the high limit room. I'm, you know, the, the casinos, like you had said, this marketing event, it's becoming sometimes difficult in some of them to figure out the, the good location. Uh, they are the advanced. Setting. They are advanced. And, uh, you know, when I stand 15 feet in front of an entrance of a high limit room, I'm like, you know, I'm looking around and I just when I've been trying to go to different casinos. And, and so it gives me like, how are they all similar? How are they all different? Just standing in that spot. And I'm like, this is the broadest walkway in the casino. And it usually goes straight. You know, they, they have one that goes by it and they have one that comes from it. And it's just wide open. And I'm looking around going, you know, they didn't put slot machines and filled up that that walkway uh to to make it a small walkway for a good reason mm-hmm. they're making money by doing this instead of making money by putting slot machines so they can't see very well uh, uh, and I, i'm i and i'm just trying to get into their mind and then tell you guys uh, uh the podcast mm-hmm. listener and, and you you know what to what to look for um i i went to a casino and they didn't have any of that and it was like what you know the, the the entrance into the high limit room had a bush you know blocking the view and i'm just like you know you should hire me as a slot manager and i'll say move that bush okay i'm going home all right 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 right, right, right. It's, it's been it's been interesting because even like i do notice with you know by just listening and taking your course that you you know you can't you can't go when it's really busy and do your top method because it's so busy, right? So you and if you're looking at a carousel machine, and like when you walk into Green Valley, I mean the first thing you see, if you, depending upon the entrance you come in, is Megabox uh, you know, on the yes. right hand side. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then you, you look straight and you see all these Buffalo machines, but they're on a row, but it's hard to test them. So unless you're just observing, I'll do that. I'll just watch. I'll just observe the season really winning. Um, if I can't, you know, if we can't do any sort of test or I'll do that. I'll just go right down the line. If it's not very busy, and do what you said, do minimum best test, see what I get. Sometimes yeah, I've been them, successful and other times I haven't. Uh, one, you know, we are in this together, including the people who don't know that we're in this together. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, sometimes people are sitting in that row of identical slot machines. Not that they are identical. They just have the same game on it uh, and, you know, the same uh, uh, denomination choices and all of that. The one that has the better view, the second one in on the row closest to the major aisle, you know, that's likely to be the one that has the better odds and or the one in the end, possibly. And so you 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 know, you come into a half full casino and what do you know? People are sitting on those two <laughs> machines and yeah, they, they, yeah. they they don't know why they well, I mean, they, they're like, well, I went on this one. And I'm like, uh huh, funny how that is. Um, and, and, and so <laughs> the, the, the winning machines, it's subconscious. I mean, I don't think that, you know, I, I'm explaining these concepts and it's been a little slow going because people it's it's different from what people think. But, you know, when I talk to them about how they talk about, you know, think about slots, I'm like, 
no, that's not how the gaming regulations, you know, what, you know, and, and just these things they heard. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, you really should, you've based a lot of your gameplay on stuff that's not real. And be, it, I'm glad it makes you feel better, <laughs> you know, <laughs> good for right. you. Would you like to go home with some cash instead? Yes. No. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes I'm too, like, sometimes I'm too, again, overthinking. I'll sit down on the machine, and, well, for example, I walked into Green Valley. I was, it wasn't super busy, but it was busy enough. People were winning, and I found this one machine over by their food court. It was kind of tucked to the corner, but you could see it, and people could see it. So I played it, and I'd say within the first five, I was only betting, up, you know, like maybe 225. And uh, I did get um, the bonus, and I won like two hundred dollars immediately. I thought, okay, Gina, cash out. I think it was over two hundred, almost three hundred, and go to a different, you know, just walk around. Don't because I had just got like a fool. I thought about it afterwards and said, maybe I should have given not, it a little. Not not like a fool. Do you? You, know, you have to go experience and then update your plan. I I call this a, a slot's journey. You know, what might you have done instead? You took the wise path, uh, you know, uh, of keeping the money. And, right. <laughs> and as you may know, a lot of people have that problem because, wow, now they're winning and they never practiced getting out of the casino before. <laughs> That's all new, whole new experience. And, um, you know, I, I think you did the right thing. Uh, now, next time. Uh, if, or if you go back, uh, then you might have a modified plan about, okay, so, you know, I, I do this myself. This is the combination of strategies that I, I talk about. I, I, I'm not sharing anything that I don't mention freely. Uh, when I talk about when I, in my reviews, I will walk around and <clears throat> basically, you know, new to me casino, probably never be back in 10 years, whatever, you know, another state. And I will do the five pull test on 20 machines. And while I'm doing that, you know, 88 cent bet, 50 cent bet, whatever the minimum bet is on that machine, I'll win $120. And I'll be like, mm -hmm. pause. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I could I could leave with this, but at this point, I've gotten comfortable enough of recognizing this that I want to investigate if it's a winning machine, but it's, mm -hmm. you know, advanced technique. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and, and so I, I take the money out that's in the machine. I leave the card in and I put in like a fresh hundred and I do my evaluation of 10 bets, 20 bets, 50 bets, hundred bets, uh, just to see if it's um, a winning machine. And maybe I don't even get to 100 bits. Maybe I do. And I, I you know, would win money at, uh, like I have at, what is it, uh, Indiana, um, Horseshoe, Indiana. Uh, it used to be Indiana, uh, Indiana, Indiana Grand. Now it's Horseshoe, Indianapolis. Anyway, uh, you know, next to the cafe, 10% uh, of the machines are busted, you know, broken, not oh. just off. Well, I, I you know, I'm, I'm like... What's going on? And uh, but there would have been more machines facing the cafe, uh, except they were shut down. Then I'm like, good for me, <laughs> and yeah, and, exactly. and I'm, I'm just winning money, winning money, winning money. And I'm like, I got here like five minutes ago. I barely started my tests, and I guess I done. <laughs> yeah right right yeah, yeah. and, and you that's have to roll discipline with it. Yeah, well you yeah have to roll with that's it. one thing i learned yeah. I, and i learned that you know from your courses because it is difficult to walk away it is because people want to hit that oh, one more time one more time one more time you know yeah so i've been practicing that i'm not perfect at it by no means but i've been doing what you have suggested um for example my husband and i just went it was our anniversary we went out for dinner and we said, oh, we'll just go to the casino for a couple hours. And I won on Money Link. I think I won $400. And I said, you know what? I, I cashed it. Exactly what I did agreed, cashed it out and I gave it to him and said, here, 
Told and this I for me. A fresh fill in it. <laughs> yeah. And then we put in another hundred and I want another 200 and kind of the same thing, but it is discipline. I mean, it is hard to not keep hitting that button. So Absolutely. I'm learning. And, yeah. Yeah. and I just, but I like that I'm learning and I have some knowledge. <laughs> so I'm so appreciative of that because it's helpful. I mean, it really is. And I've got my plan. My plan is to try and make some money, you know, and share it with my kids and my grandkids. <laughs> I don't need to be rich, but if I'm not working, you know, um, it gives me something to do. I like doing it. I like watching people. I like talking to people. I like observing. I like learning. So I, and, I like what you do. And, and, and you don't go home broke, which is, right. which is, you know, a terrible feeling. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I've been there. I mean, you know, yeah. not broke, but if I, like you said, I only go with what I can afford to lose. Yeah. And if that means I'm only in there for 45 minutes or 30 minutes, so be it. Uh, you know, but. It's hard to make quick decisions and right decisions, but, uh, um, you know, getting, well, we can talk about how y you've lived your life um, overthinking and you're using mm -hmm. that now uh, to uh, be successful. Yeah. It must be awesome to like uh, tell your stories to family members. I, lo I, I love it when people, um, and there's been people who have been interviewed before who uh, uh, Rodney helped his mom uh, come over here, mom, yeah. you know, and sit here. You know. I, yeah, I heard him, yeah. <laughs> and she, I'm thinking, and the whole the whole time I'm thinking, wow, he's pretty magical. He can just stop him, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I heard him. That was cool. Yeah. But that's what I do. I share, you know, your information, your name, where I learned from with my sons. And look at my youngest son, I mean. He's 20, he'll be 27. I don't know if you call that luck, he's he just pays attention now and and he's not a gambler he doesn't go like every week he goes when i'm in nevada why because my mom's gone you know or my dad you know my mom and dad are gone but he my husband and i were like okay my husband's like gina today's the day you're definitely going to win a hand pay keep the faith right so we're going downstairs we weren't even in there 15 minutes and my son had well, I looked at my husband. I said, well, I guess it's on my turn yet. It's his turn. <laughs> um, I, I love <laughs> the family it experience. Exciting. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it was so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It's so great. Um, yeah, uh, and then, still... then I wanted to just tell you, I want to tell you this one what? thing. Mm -hmm. the, um, the slot attendant, the person working, we were at the Luxor, and the person working came up to me. Um, after my son, because I was so, you know, excited for my son. And he said, he had seen me a little bit later saying, you're not playing the machine no more, huh? I go, well, I wasn't playing it. My son was playing it. And he said, you don't want to play it? And I said, well, I, I said, well, I did, but, you know, it's only so much I'm willing to give it. And he said, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, yeah, so, my, so here. Here goes overthinking. Uh oh, am I supposed to play that machine? <laughs> no, my uh, husband's like, I, I, you know, they can't funny. say go home. They I mean they they get fired if they go home. Right. Uh, uh, some have, and you know, I talk to them, and, and they're, when they're unemployed, <laughs> and you know, reprimanded, and then and then, uh, uh, so the encouragement that's just natural. I was talking to somebody a week ago uh, up in Michigan uh, behind the counter and she said, I have to say this. And I said, just just go ahead. I, I, I have a filter in my ear. Just keep talking. And, and then we, you know, you wonder what, you know, if what you can hear the the, the different sort of um, statements and how official they are. And then they say something that's not quite so official. And you're like, was that from them and not from the casino? And, right. uh, and, and I, I just, I, I, I can't figure people out. I can figure out a slot machine. <laughs> They're just so yeah. much harder. <laughs> right. I didn't go back to play it. I'm like, no, I gave enough money, a little money to them, that machine. So uh, I tried though. They gave you a nudge. Machine. They gave you a nudge and, yeah. and you were like, nope, 
Nope, nope. Uh, yeah. That's that is wonderful. That's the sort of success that I I like to see. Um, you know, there there are people that come to me for consultations or for the course, or they talk to me in the paid membership, or send me an email and they say, "I'm fine with winning. Could you help me mm-hmm. just like?" get it home. (laughs) 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 Uh, And it is tough uh, for many people to do that. Yeah. Please um, wish your your son congratulations from me. I will. I will. See my husband on camera? He just got done working out. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. Yeah. I I I will. Yeah. It was exciting for him. And he shared it. You know, he gave, he he said, here, mine is a hundred. He gave a hundred to my husband and we didn't want you know we're like no no you want it you see it you know but it's a family event. yeah it was a fun fun yeah it was just fun we had a good time wonderful wonderful uh so yeah. so uh you have trips coming up do you have things planned uh is are you um considering like um you know your, what's your slots journey looking like f- coming up I probably will, because Sitter and I just went this weekend, and we only won. I think I'm up 120. But again, my bankroll, I'm... I, mean, I'm I don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to laugh. It's like a car, it's like a car payment, but... You know, yeah. Eh. You know, yeah, and, and, I, and I just keep track, you know, keep track. I got a little envelope that I keep my... We keep our winnings in that we use. You know, when we go again, and then I track it based on the Excel spreadsheet, the tools that you had get given us. I think we'll try to, I'll try to go every couple of months. Um, we have a, we, we just sold our condo in Florida. So, um, my husband's got to go close there. So, um, I'm not sure if we'll go to Florida. If I, I might go to Florida, my sister-in-law in May, and, but I'll definitely be going back to Nevada probably within the next four to six weeks, um, because of my children. My sure. children and my grandchildren. So, sure. um, but I try to keep it in check. You know, I, I don't want to be one of those going every day or I just try to keep it in check um, to make sure I don't get in over my head. I can and see that. I constantly, yeah. yeah, constantly think about keep it in the check because it's easy, I guess to do if you don't. So uh, you have, you know, you've changed your lifestyle. It's, it's retirement. And um, right. I recently went from having a lab uh, in an engineering building with a five-ton crane and all that. I don't have a five-ton crane anymore. <laughs> and and, <laughs> and, and I, I work from home, and I'm like, I think I'll get a dog, you know, and, and yeah. <laughs> which is not possible when you work 10 hours a day somewhere else, but it's possible when you work 10, 12 hours a day at home. And so I, you know, as I mentioned, my sister says, I've never seen you in your life smile so much and it's different. But when, you know, so there's positive things, but there's also kind of like, you know, get up and go to the park. You know, the, the, yeah. the, the, the campus where I worked had a rec center. I, I, I've i got the garage. It's not heated unless I heat it, you know, and 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 so yeah. there's things to watch out for and you are watching out for them. Uh, so, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it's yep. your slots journey is staying away from the worst part of the swamps and, <laughs> uh, yeah. and take the slow route up the mountain, not the straight up cliff. <laughs> exactly. I ha- you have to, right. Yeah. Everything has to be in moderation. That's how I kind of think. Um, and I want to be cautious. I work hard all my life. I don't want to just throw it away. But I, that's my plan. My plan is to try to make some extra money. Yes, I am doing other things, right? I'm actually enjoying my retirement. But I find value. I like it. I just think it's, I like it. I, I, I find it entertaining. Like I had mentioned earlier, I, A lot of and I'm do. so appreciative again. Yeah. I, I'm appreciative of you know, you teaching, you sharing your knowledge, you helping us become smarter and better at it. And that's important. Otherwise, we're pretty much on the clueless bus when you walk in there. Um, I'm smarter about it. I'm not perfect, 
but I appreciate what I've learned and I'm going to keep learning. And I appreciate you uh, being on the interview and I appreciate you sharing with your family and possibly others. Uh, uh, thank you so much. You had mentioned Florida. Uh, whereabouts in Florida? We had a condo. We just sold it in Ponce Inlet. I don't know if you're familiar with that. That's is it over by Miami months. or is it over by Tampa or... Now it's about two hours from Tampa. It's over by um, okay. Orlando, Daytona Beach. Okay, uh, there. Like, and but and, okay, I. There are tribal casinos, and one of the busiest is um, Hard Rock Tampa, and I wanted to uh, warn you about. Um, how if you leave that casino, it's like pulling your hand out of a bucket of water. It fills in really fast, <laughs> you, <laughs> as though you were never missed. And um, it can be difficult when there's no other casinos anywhere nearby that uh, they can. Uh, it's not very. Uh, competitive. They're not fighting over having you. And that's what you want to have, like Philadelphia and other places yeah, or, or, or the, right. the state of New York. Um, so I, I wanted to warn you about that. Down by Miami, there's actually a few casinos that are commercial casinos. Uh, and I mentioned those not because they're necessarily better. Um, better is when there's a nearby casino. So there's more than one. That's what I think. But there's uh, in, yeah. in Miami, they have return statistics. And there's um, some of the and it's an article on my webpage, but you can see that for the last 15 years, one of them is like above with a gap, the returns uh, for them versus all the others. And I'm just like, why wouldn't you go to that casino? Right. Exactly. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, I just wanted to mention Florida. Uh, in, in it, case. Yeah, because there's nothing else. The tools that you've provided and shared allow us to get smarter about where we choose to go, what, depending upon what state we're in, what slot, what denomination we should play, right? There's a lot, there's a lot of good tools. So we're playing smarter. You've given us opportunities to be smarter about it versus being just walking in and just having no clue. And that is what's beneficial. It's huge. Because people can take it and share it and apply it, and there is benefits associated with it. It's not perfect, right? We're not perfect, but boy, is it helpful. It is so helpful. I'm, so thank you. You're welcome. I'm so glad. Um, thank you again for being on the interview, and um, I will, uh, you know, send me an email if you have a question, and I'll, I'll talk to you later. I will, John, and you'll be the first to know when I get my first first big hand. I will hope for that. <laughs> thank you. Is there any questions that you might have I can answer right now? I think we kind of covered it um, uh, pretty well. Uh, I, th I think what you've done is awesome. I think that you're on a journey. Um, uh, and, you know, just take it easy and uh, enjoy the next thing. There's <clears throat> people who play slots that kind of come to a point um, you know, like a eddy in a pond, and they're just like, good enough. I'll just do this until the chair rots under me. <laughs> you know, until yeah. until I wear out the button. Until you know, uh, mm -hmm. and, and and so that's the people that I a little bit worry about because they learned how to win, then they found a way to win. It was good enough, and then years went by. And, and then I'm like, you can always retake the course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I refer, refer back to it often. The other thing that I do, I don't know if this makes sense, but before we, you know, we, we end, I also have, uh, I use my card. I use the player's card. I always sign up for the player's card. It's not like I'm any big spender and I'm getting all these um, promotions, but it does, I do get perks associated with them. So I find them valuable. I don't think that they are controlling my wins and losses based on using the card. I don't, I don't think that, but I have also joined some online, like I'm not very familiar with all these games, I'll be honest. Um, so it's a way for me to get to know some of the games, but also I'm playing uh, free. It's free online playing and I'm getting perks because of the card. There's free. So I'm kind of doing that. 
there's free and then there's like, but you could pay unless you want to come back tomorrow yeah. and wait. And you're like, it's like that conversation with a slot attendant. Um, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> you yeah, know, exactly. And that's exactly what I do, John. I'll wait till tomorrow when I get my <laughs> next award. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I learned a little bit more about some of the games. So, sure, sure. Anyway, yeah, uh, wonderful. You're doing great. Uh, in my, Thanks, in, in my in my opinion, um, uh, uh, change is a constant, and and uh, uh, it should be an interesting few years. I think what I'm feeling is actually the pandemic and kind of the getting caught up. The slot uh, yeah. manufacturers and the casinos going, well, we kept on inventing and you just put a hold on it because you were all closed. Uh, and and so now we're sort of like double time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, like I said, you know, that even the, uh, the slot enthusiasts, all the pictures they post and people winning and yeah. it's good to see, you know, fun to watch. It, it, it is. It is. <laughs> I, uh, you started off by, um, saying uh, before the interview, uh, you, you'd mentioned that people are betting a lot, and that's one of the things that I, yeah. I I'm, I'm like, you know, people don't have to do that. I, I gave yeah. a, a survey, um, an annual survey, um, and you know, what's the one thing that would have helped you um, win more? And they're like, if I just brought more money to the casino. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. How do, how does that work? And and um, so I got to find a way to help those people understand. Um, you're 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 awesome. Um, I appreciate that you've uh, uh, learned the lessons and um, look forward to hearing more about your slots journey. Um, I will. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll be reading. I'll be following. I'll be joining when I can. That learning won't stop. But thank you so much for helping us. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Take care. Thanks, John. You too. Bye. My online course for improving your slots play is 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win. With it, you'll get lifetime access, a free copy of my book, Learning to Win, and spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping for income tax preparation purposes and gameplay analysis. You'll also get a one-month free membership to my Slots Enthusiast Growth Network, where you'll get community support and accountability. 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win is discounted at 50% off for $100 savings. Be sure to use that discount before it goes away. Visit ProfessorSlots.com 30 days to learn more about this well-received course, including a full description of its contents, as well as testimonials. The next episode of the Professor Slots podcast will include a short topic for you, plus my conversation with Grizel. That's the end of another great episode of the Professor Slots podcast. Thanks so much for listening. I plan to have the next episode come out very soon for you, where I'll have more amazing content for the show. Until the next episode, have fun, be safe, and make good choices. Bye.